Hello my precious friends, welcome to Golden Truth Tarot. Before I start today's video, I want to remind you that if you are interested in beautiful, high quality gemstone jewelry, like the rings that you see on my fingers, or like this beautiful Labradorite necklace, like these different necklaces or bracelets, you can order them online on www.goldentruthtarot.com. The link you can find here below this video or in the description box. Shipping is worldwide. Thank you so much. And now let's move on to today's video. Bye-bye. Hi Leos, welcome to your December reading. Now let's get started with the first week of December. The energy during this week is going to be very fiery, very intense, very passionate. It's also going to be a lot of conflict coming your way. We start the week from December 1st with a new moon, a new moon in Sagittarius, another fire sign like you are. And the new moons are all about new beginning, but in, in Sagittarius, it can be new beginning when it comes to information, when it comes to you being able to see the bigger picture. So if you have trusted someone, if you have believed something that someone told you, now you will find out the truth about what has really been going on. You will be able to see the bigger picture with that new moon and with that Sagittarius energy. Also, Mars, the planet that represents anger, conflict, violence, how we aggression, how we act, how explosive we are, is in your sign, is in Leo, and is direct, meaning the in intensity is stronger, from December 1st to December 6th, that entire week. So something that it's going to be revealed to you, you, you will find out the truth about someone or a particular situation. Your reaction is going to be very, very intense, very explosive. You're going to feel very angry, uh, upset. You have to be careful with how you manage the situation because on the most extreme cases, this energy can lead to big conflicts to the point where you are physically getting into an altercation with someone and you both end up in either um, police being called or, or having problems with the law or even hurting the other person. In the most extreme cases, of course, this is a general reading. Any one of you are, is going to manage it in a different way. Just make sure whatever you find out during this week, you try to keep yourself as calm as possible and try to stay as rational as possible. It's going to be difficult because there's a lot of fire energy and that Mars there being in, in your sign in Leo, it's going to truly give you that, that, um, that impatience um, more than usually. And it, this has to do with your ego. That has, this has to do with your money, with your finances, with something that you truly care for. It's not about relationships. I don't see a focus on relationship. It's mainly something that is personal to you, Leos. Something, as I said, that has to do with your money, with your finances, uh, with something that you truly care about, something that is going to affect your reputation, how others see you, uh, that is going to touch on your ego, that's going to create these problems. And even from the oracle of the green oracle message for you guys is stimu uh, stimulation, chilies. The best thing to do while Mars is in your sign is to avoid spicy food as well and to avoid anything that is going to stimulate you even more. So energy drinks, caffeine, try to avoid that while uh, Mars is, uh, is in Leo till, uh, December 6th. And once it goes retrograde, the energy slows down a bit, but yes, this person has been triggering you. They have been causing you headaches more and more. It's like a, like a spicy food. Every time you, you, 
you eat something, it, it, it burns a little bit, it burns a little bit, it burns a little bit, and you can't tolerate it anymore. It, it's going to get to a point in the first week where you can't handle it anymore and you're just going to, to explode towards them, okay? And, and, and there's a lot of fighting energy, just, just can't take it anymore. This is, that's it. You have to put an, an end to it. You, you have to stand up for yourself because also from the Oracle, the message for you guys is wolf, cunning stealth so this person has been cunning towards you they have been shady they have been doing things behind your back so you, you have the right to to do this this is truly unfair what what has been happening it's truly unfair towards you so yes you have to be strong and stand up for yourself and say what what you need to say to clear all of this from uh, from your life as I said, you, you're going to find out that someone has been pretending to be a, a, a sheep in wolf's clothing. Uh, someone who you trusted, who you thought was your friend, who you thought was your confidant, who you thought was a partner. When it comes to work and how you were making money together, you will find out that this person was actually causing you to lose money or uh, causing you to lose clients or causing you to uh, have problems with people. It, it was causing a lot of, lot of trouble. And it, it, yes, it, it's going to affect your finances because in the second week, Leos, I do see that there's going to be some issues when, it's com when it comes to your career, when it comes to your money, especially those Leos who own their own businesses. I see that uh, you will have some problems. So even if you are employed or you had a part-time job or you were working on a project, you this project might be canceled due to the conflict. Um, you are going to lose on some clients, some lose some money, have some issues. But what you're gaining, the most important thing for you now, what you're gaining is your freedom. What you're gaining is your peace of mind. What you're gaining is knowing that you realize that you have this wolf inside your circle, this person, this enemy, this person who was damaging to you. And now you can free yourself from their energy. You can free yourself from their influence in your life and you can move on. You can leave all of this behind. So that is the most important thing to you, even though financially, yes, in the second week, some of you are going to maybe worry a bit about money, losing out on money, losing out on clients, losing out on opportunities, uh, having this, uh, having this affect your reputation, how others see you. There's a lot to consider. There's a lot to consider. Uh, but the most important thing is, is, is the freedom, the new chapter there's going to come after, after this. And it's happening in 2024 in the last, uh, in the last year, 2024 is a number eight year. So we have that very karmic energy. So this was karmic. This was meant to happen. This was meant to teach you something. This was meant to improve you, upgrade you, your consciousness, how you see things, about, um, re redirect you in a different direction. So see it as a positive thing. See it as something that is going to be beneficial to you in uh, in the long run. And in the third week, I see you feeling much better, much more relieved, free. Now that, yes, you lost out on something, but now you have the freedom to pursue something else. Now you have the chance to start all over again. At times when things are not working, the best thing for, for us is just sometimes we just want to, to start fresh and it, it's so many things to fix that fixing it, it, it takes longer to fix and it takes longer to try to work things out than to just completely leave that whole project aside and start completely fresh in something new. And that's your desire in the third week of December, the desire to pursue your dreams, the desire to leave everything behind, the desire to forget about all this these issues and these problems and just have a very 
I look towards the next year with gratitude and with this sense of lightness to you to, to yourself to your soul that you don't have to carry this burden anymore that now you know the truth the conflict happened it's it's behind you and now you can focus towards towards the future and for those of you leos who who are in um in a relationship i see that you're happy you have a person that truly loves you you're in a beautiful union you have found your soulmate you have found that person that completes you and you guys are very very happy for others i see in the last week you focusing on your family focusing on people who love you focusing on your emotional well-being you're going to realize also that yes you, you you found out what the enemy was in in the midst of the people that you know but you also have a lot of other people who truly love you and were looking out for you and were there to help you so there is a lot of focus on love relationships enjoying time with other people on your emotional well-being on healing on feeling better uh, in the last week you just want this whole experience to be uh, to be behind of you as i said try to manage this energy as best as you can without um without causing any more problems for yourself long-term problems or long-term issues at the very end of uh at the very very end december 30th we also have another new moon this is a special month december with two new moons and one full moon so three in total another new moon in capricorn uh on december 30th and that new moon in capricorn might bring you a new person a new collaboration someone who is going to give you a better opportunity so one door is closing in the beginning of the month and another door is uh, opening in the end of the month giving you a chance to make more money to work on something that you're passionate about to have something that is way more profitable and beneficial for you so always see it as a winning don't see it as a loss even when the conflict happens even when you find out the truth try to always see the silver lining in this in this situation but the end of of the december is going to be a beautiful time filled with love compassion empathy good times harmony you feeling in peace feeling content with the people that are around you feeling loved feeling like you need you have all the support that you want you you have everything that that you need from from people who truly have your best interests at heart especially if you are in a relationship you had found the right person for you and you might even decide to hey why don't we work together why don't we do something together as a couple instead of relying on other people maybe uh, the answers have always been right in front of you and you haven't been able to see them because you've been so focused each person doing their own thing now you're going to realize maybe the best thing is for you to actually work together or do something together as as a team as a union okay leos this is everything that i see for you for the month of december if you enjoyed this reading please leave me a like a comment and of course uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the yearly readings thank you so much and i see you next time bye bye